صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. It began on April 23rd with the sighting of a new moon and lasts until May 23rd. Every day of Ramadan, Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset, which English professor Shazi Ali says is quite vigorous because you cannot eat or drink water during this time. But she also says the month can be quite festive. It's almost like Christmas every day. And um, you, there's a lot of food. I know we're supposed to stay away from food, but we eat a lot. This is why you don't lose weight in Ramadan, you gain weight. And one of the goals of Ramadan for our community is to go through the Quran cover to cover during this one month. Before the day's fast begins, Muslims eat suhoor before sunrise. Once the sun goes down, it's time for iftar, which is broken by eating dates and drinking ru afza. Iftar would be sometimes at home and sometimes in the mosque. Community iftars would mean 1,500 people sitting together and breaking fast together. And after that, there are the night prayers, which starts about at 10 p.m., and that's when everybody shows up to the mosque. And again, that's, I don't know, 3,000, 4,000 people in our community mosque. <laughs> However, COVID-19 has caused community celebrations to be put on hold, and Ali says it's been a challenge to be separated from people. By nature, almost all of us, we thrive in communities. We love having our uh, peeps with us. We love having our crowd with us, those people who build us up. On top of being away from her peeps, Ali's family is having to do all other Ramadan rituals from home. So if you have to study the Quran, you're going to do it by yourself. If you have to have your night prayers, you're going to do it as a family. You're not going to, you're not going to go outside and do it as a community. So this is the very first time in my life that I'm actually doing the night prayers, which is called Tharavi prayers at home. I've never done that. And um, it's interesting. Right now, everything is on us. I can be as religious as I want or as non-religious as I want. I can be as um, engaged in my worship as I want, and I can be as disengaged as I want. It's not um, that I'm following a community anymore. So if I don't create that community within my house, then this month is just going to go by and I'm not going to have anything. But Ali has found some positivity in the new normal. It's an opportunity to build a more a stronger relationship with the kids and the husband, which I think um, before, because I was so busy, I didn't get a chance to do.